Hey YouTube, this is Zach with the Gillies Financial and today I'm going to be talking about using covered calls during the market volatility that we are currently experiencing. This is an option strategy that can help you generate income while utilizing the shares that you currently own as collateral. This is a strategy I've effectively employed over the course of the past year and I've gotten a lot of feedback associated with it in terms of what can you do, how do you utilize it, and why would I sell options on a position when I expect it to go up as soon as next week? And I think that there is a lot of potential for as the market is continuing to flounder about, and as we're seeing the total stock market about 2% off all time highs, we are concerned because we see a lot of high flying positions get absolutely hammered. And I think that this is a great time to A, buy and do homework, versus buy and hold. And the reason why I say that is because I've seen a lot of high flying stocks this week just get absolutely hammered because a lot of individuals are seeing stocks that have run up due to excessive call buying and now that they're getting sent back down, they're doing so in rapid fashion and they're seeing a lot of those gains disappear right in front of them. What I'm looking at doing instead is taking the positions that I've already stated I'm going to hold for a longer period of time and use those shares to generate income for myself. The primary example, as many of you know, and the past two videos of my channel have been, is I actually was talking and discussing STEM. And what you're seeing here is one of my holdings. I own about 425 shares in total, but on this particular account, we've got 300 shares because I have 300 shares this morning at market open, I said I'm going to sell three covered calls. So what that meant is when you buy or sell a call, you are buying the right to 100 shares of a particular stock at a given price. Because I have those shares, what I did is I looked out next week, STEM just had phenomenal earnings. If you'd like to see more of that, I'll have the link to that video up here in the top right hand corner. We looked at that option and I said, hey, they had blowout earnings. I do not expect them to sell or go all the way to $29 a share by next week. So these 300 shares, that was a position that cost me right at $7,319 in total. And you can see that we're actually barely above my trade price or my average cost. That's this $24.30 that you see right there. What I've done is I sold that $29 call option. So I was able to bring in a total cost of, they paid me a total of $96 for these options. And what I was able to do is I was able to sell them. So someone paid me $96 for my right to these shares. So if the stock price is higher than $29 next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, they are able to buy my shares for $29 a piece, only if the stock price is higher than that. In return, they paid me $96. As you can see, that price decreased during the course of the day, and right now it's showing that I have a profit of $21.45 at this point in time. What the profit and loss looks like associated with this is that should the stock price go up, and this is again TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim web platform, as the stock price goes up, you can see in this right hand side, right here shows my profit and loss. So as the stock price goes up, I can have a maximum profit at expiration of $1,476, even if the price goes all the way to $32 a share, because I have to sell my shares at $29 a piece, so I'll get the profit from the difference of when I purchased it at $24.30, and that dollar difference of $29 a share, Plus I'll get the $96.45 that was paid to me. The reason I highlight this is because there is a absolute ton of volatility in the market right now and you have the capability to go out and say, I want to buy or sell different options holdings. And you've probably, you are probably up on some positions. There's a lot of volatility due to the recent decline in a lot of share prices. And as such, you may look and say, is it worth continuing to hold? I think there's a lot of value in holding the stock. What I do is I will sell the option and then if the price goes over that, I can incorporate something called a wheel strategy where I can then sell a cash secured put, but more on that at a later date. What I'm showcasing right here 
is this is a position that I've already said I'm going to be holding for until 2025. And this is an account that I can buy back in. Uh, it's a Roth 401k account. And so I have the capability to trade without any repercussions for realized or unrealized gains. And as such, I'm going to continue to rotate this through. So as such, I'm going to be selling these covered calls, generating income, using that to buy additional shares, and then turning that around and selling additional covered calls on those positions. So this is a great way that every two weeks you should, depending on the pricing, depending on the volatility, I plan on generating about $100 every two weeks, which at current share price would be able to enable me to buy another 100 shares by the end of the year. This is a great way to take advantage of some of your stocks that you are already holding on to, that you are already utilizing. To showcase what that may be looking like, if you were to go to something crazy like a Tesla, recognizing that not many people have 100 shares, which is gonna be a $100,000 position, you can sell a call, which would be this position right here, saying that the stock is going to, by next Friday, be higher than $1,200 a share. Keep in mind that that is still near all-time highs. And someone would pay you more than $1,000 to say the stock is going to move another 13% from where it's at today. So the only way you lose on that pricing is if the stock is above $1,200 and we'll call it $11 a share, which is absolutely insane. If you look at it from a little bit closer where, hey, we think the stock's going to move another 5%, by the end of next Friday, that's $3,300, which is an immediate 3% return on that total value of that portfolio at this point in time. So there's a ton to really like about some of this information. It's absolutely crazy that we have the capability to do this. And as such, I highly recommend using that to generate income in the market tumultuous times. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop that in the comment section down below. I also posted everything that occurred right here in the Discord, which I have the link to this in the description. I post all of my plays. You can see that right here, including how I sold the covered call right here. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I look forward to talking with you all soon. Thanks. Bye.